I think that tools like Lovable AI are great, but they're not as great as using a proper page builder uh, in combination with a proper design tool like Figma. But for simple websites, it's kind of like okay. And so what is a simple website? Well, a website that doesn't need a login, a blog and different post types, just a static website with some simple info, maybe a few pages, or just a one pager like this that scrolls to specific sections. I think tools like Lovable are okay. But the problem with these kind of tools is that the design that they create are pretty similar. It's a little bit boring. And so I thought, why not explore what we can do with the editing tools inside of Lovable to make these designs feel a little bit less AI generated. And so that's what I wanna explore in this video. We're gonna make a little gym website and then try to make it a little bit more custom. And actually Lovable should be a lot better now because they have introduced the agent mode, which makes less mistakes and can make decisions. So let's see how far we can get by making a simple website for a gym. Okay, so let's go to our prompt box and the prompt I wanna start out with is this. Create a modern one page website for a local gym called Bamboo Gym. The style should feel premium and energetic with a dark theme and neon orange accent. So a very bright orange. And we're gonna include the following sections. And I think this is where you can start. You should not start out with blank saying, hey, just create a gym website. You should first have that conversation with your client, know what kind of section they want, what kind of fuel they wanna go for, and whether it's a one page or a multi page. And again, this is for simple projects, right? It's not as custom as the things we do in, in Figma and Elementor. We wanna keep things simple because maybe this gym doesn't have a lot of budget, right? Let's look at it from that perspective. I am gonna generate the website and then we're probably gonna see a very generic design. All right, it is done. And uh, we, have <laughs> we have a button that is uh, shaking. I don't know, <laughs> sometimes AI does weird things. Let's check out the design a little bit. I like this icon that shows that you should start scrolling. Yeah, but as you can see, the design is a little bit basic. I mean, this is kind of cool, this overlapping thing that has a little animation, uh, but yeah, it is a little bit basic. Let's see, we have the coaches over here. Okay, I mean, at least the hover animations are kind of cool. And we have this slider over here. It doesn't really animate, it just fades in, so we can make that a little bit more custom. Then we have a few testimonials here, more numbers. Uh, this section I like, that looks pretty cool because one of them is highlighted. Okay. And there we can see the contact, including the opening hours, which is what we wanted. Okay, this is a little bit weird. Find us on the map, okay. And then a footer. So let's see what it comes up with when I just tell it what to do. Uh, change the hero layout to a more custom design by using multiple columns. Integrate the numbers uh, differently. Now it's all middle aligned, which is boring. And delete the weird animation on the button. Let's see. Okay, it is done. It has now turned it into also quite a boring layout, in my opinion, which is just left aligned. We already have left aligned over here. So not that great. This number is overlapping. I think this background is a bit weird. It's not horrible looking, but it's not what I was hoping. So you know what, let's give it some input by just going to Dribble and let's just search for a Hero Gym. What about this one? Let's try to see if we give it this reference image, uh, if it can do a better job. Okay, uh, let's see. It's calling it an asymmetric design. So maybe that's a keyword I should have used. All right, it has done something interesting. Look at that. Okay, this is definitely pretty close to, to our inspiration. Let's just quickly switch between them. It is pretty close. I am quite impressed. It's not there yet, but at least we have something. Let's now try to insert an actual image that we have ourselves. So let's use this image. 
So let's see if it can handle this. Add this image to the background of the hero section. Make it fade to dark on the left so that the text stays visible and 100% opacity on the right. Let's see. All right, it has, oh, okay, that was weird. It first did another image and then it replaced it. I'm not so sure about the gradient though. I think it it's there. Yeah, it is there, it is there. Okay, so this kind of worked. Let's now try to change the styling with a different typography because that always has a huge impact. Uh, I found this font online. So let's say that we wanna use this Google font. Let's see if this is going to work. Replace all the heading text with the Google font Zen Dots. All right, there it is. Let's see. All right, now it already feels a little bit more custom. Okay, that is better. Let's try, for example, to change uh, this section. So now I'm going to use the edit button inside of uh, a lovable. Uh, so let's go to this whole div. So we select the right one and then we're going to ask, uh, turn the testimonial slider into a, a three column card slider that is full width and the two most outer cards should overflow off canvas make sure to include all the testimonials you have right here so no separate row of extra testimonials below the slider okay that's an interesting uh, prompt let's see how it handles this one so it should include all of these into a big off canvas slider I actually made a video about this effect like a few days ago in Elementor. So I'm interested what it's gonna do. Oh, look at that. Wait, let's let's check it in full width. Uh, open preview in a new tab. Okay. Okay, let's scroll down. Oh, huh? that's not the latest version. Let's refresh. Okay, now it looks like it works, there's a card here on the side, but it's not sliding anymore. Okay, let's try to fix it. The card should auto animate and there should also be big navigation buttons so people can scroll through the items. All right, it is done and uh, let's see if it works. Yes, it auto animates, um, but it only shows two of them, which is a little bit intense. So I'm gonna do one more thing. So I'm telling it, I want to see more testimonials in the view. I only see like about 1.8. I want to see at least three full ones and then one half cut off. I'm talking in really like human language here. So let's see. Okay, there we go. It has fixed it. It worked. Pretty cool stuff, right? It is empty over here. So that's something that definitely needs some fixing, but it did work and that makes it feel more custom. And let's see if it can also come up with a custom layout by itself. So for the footer or the, the contact info, it is a little bit boring, right? We have the opening hours over here and then follow us. So I'm just gonna say, the get in touch section has too much info. Change the layout and split the information up in multiple sections if you think that that's better. But make the layout feel custom, not boring left or middle align. Let's see. Okay, he has completely redesigned the contact section. All right, let's see. Okay, there's now a contact form, visit our gym. Look at that. Huh. It, it feels a little bit chaotic. I'm not so sure if AI is good yet at really understanding the context when it comes down to putting information where it makes sense. So I'm not truly happy with this. Okay, I wanna try one more thing. And that is that our gym is called a Bamboo Gym. So I want to ask it to add some kind of bamboo icon in some places uh, so that it feels more custom. So here, for example, uh, this is uh, the project from my design course. Uh, I have used the icon from the logo in different places to make the website feel more custom. So let's see if Lovable can do something like that. Okay, so the company is called Bamboo Gym, so I want to include some bamboo icons randomly throughout the website. Make it feel creative and make sure that they don't mess up the layout. Let's just add orange in there. Let's see what it does with this prompt. 
Okay, it says that it has added some tree pine icons. Let's start scrolling and see if we can find them. Oh, oh, look at that. There's a tree animating and a leaf. Not really like a bamboo. Where are more icons? Oh, here? Okay, it kind of understood the assignment. It did design an icon and it animated it, which is quite cool for this purpose, but it's very small, the opacity is super low, and it's in some places that I wouldn't put it. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> um, but it kind of like did the job, yeah, I don't know. I feel like for these kinds of things, you want to control like a professional page builder, uh, or uh, Figma or the combination to make it truly custom. So maybe this was a step too far for AI. Uh, maybe I'm asking it too much, but that was also a little bit of the goal of this video. I wanted to see how far we could get it, but let's be honest, it is amazing. It generates the design, development, textual content and image content. So it's still an amazing technology, but yeah, I guess I'm getting to the same conclusion. For me, it's not enough control. For some simple businesses, it can be fine, but I would say keep it simple then. Okay, what do you think of the results? Do you feel like it is less AI now with the changes that I made? Uh, are you impressed or are you a little bit disappointed with this result? Uh, I would like to hear your opinion. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. Oh, look at these gaps. Now I see the full version. Yeah, there are some issues, but some sections look really good like this one. But let's give Lovable some credits because they literally allow you to do five prompts per day for free, which is generous if you compare it to other AI tools. I've been playing around with different ones. So I think this is awesome. If you don't have a Lovable account yet, you can create one. I saw that they have an affiliate program, so I will try to make an affiliate link and then put it in the description. So please use that link if you're deciding to make a Lovable account. AI will, of course, become better and better. Uh, so it's exciting to see what's coming. But for now, this was it. Thank you for watching.